Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood. And I'm here with Sean Meehan with his movie, Lost Face. Let's take a look at a clip. I'm a great man. It is foolishness for me to die. I shall not die. I am not like these other carrier. <laughs> Sean, it's amazing to have you in the studio today. Thank you so much for coming. I don't even know where to start with your film because it was just so good. I've got so many questions. But for those that haven't seen it, um, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Um, it's about a fur trapper in the mid-1800s who has been captured by um, an indigenous tribe who he had previously enslaved. Um, and he's facing a pretty awful death. So he comes up with a plan to get out of it and uh, calls the chief over and they begin to bargain. It's an amazing story and, and your film is like incredible to watch. Now obviously this was a, a, you know, adapted from a, you know, it was originally a, uh, you know, a novel um, from, from Jack London. You adapted mm -hmm. it into a screenplay. Um, wh where did inspiration come for you to turn it into a film? To be honest, it was um, at the pub with a friend of mine I love it. over a couple of beers. Social time, you see. I saw yeah. these in Brits. It's all done in social time. I love it. Yeah, and he, he brought the story up and I'd read it when I was a teenager and remembered it and then I went home, reread it and it was just one of those things that just leaps off the page and yeah. I'm amazed that it hadn't been made before. Uh, honestly, a really fascinating story. What, what is the kind of feeling like as a director to sort of like, you know, again, something you had as a teenager and then all of a sudden you're putting it into, a, into your own film. What is that feeling like? And you're out there and it was a pretty incredible place that you filmed as well. Yeah, we were shooting outside of Calgary in um, a place near Black Spot at the yeah. foot of the, the um, Rocky Mountains. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it, was it quite an incredible experience, like being on set? But, you know, it was fantastic. I mean, it was a scramble because yeah. we were shooting in December near the winter solstice. Yeah. We had seven hours of daylight per day. Um, minus lunch and wow. the snow had melted a couple of days before we went to shoot so we were literally trucking in snow you know sh shovels out <laughs> sifting snow into the background and then it was getting trampled at night it would all turn into ice yeah. so first thing in the morning everyone's just sliding around on the set so, yeah. <laughs> you got some great outtakes then as well I guess yeah <laughs> yeah you would just be shooting and someone would just go thump in the background and it, you know again I always am so surprised and, and shocked that I'm captured so quickly in a short film, you know, narrative. Um, all the characters, the cast and the crew, um, you know, you can tell there's a very connected team to, obviously you've got 21 hours, um, 21 hours of, uh, of uh, sunlight um, to do the film in. Um, where did you come about assembling your cast? Um, to be honest, we adapted the screenplay and I've got a friend who's a casting agent mm -hmm. and we just aimed high. Um, sent the screenplay off to Martin De Rule first, mm -hmm. who's a fantastic Canadian, French Canadian actor. Yeah. Um, and he jumped yeah. on and then we sent it to Gerald Auger, mm -hmm. who also liked it, which was very important for me because I was slightly worried about the indigenous sensibility. Yeah. But he felt it was important to show indigenous language yeah. um, and to tell a story about um, white people tricking yeah. indigenous people. Yeah which still goes on today. No, absolutely. Um, I mean, I was, you know, the, the, the costumes were, were, were fantastic as well. Like, I mean, totally felt, you know, very true to the time period as well. Was that kind of a difficult process for you to find? Well, the nice thing about Calgary is that they do do a lot of Westerns and they do do, they have a large indigenous culture. So yeah. people go up there for that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so there are costumes around, but it was a, gathering them all together was a bit of a challenge. I mean, we were driving all over the place People have costumes hidden away in truck containers on the back of their farm, and you know, we were scavenging for a lot of it. Uh, you're a very, you know, very, very um, experienced um, and talented uh, commercial director, and I sort of noticed it was very crisp in the in the cinematography. And then you actually did the cinematography as well for it. What was what was that experience like as a director and, and uh, a cinematographer? Um, uh, well, to be honest, I've been shooting my own work for 15 years, so it's very second nature for me. Yeah. Yeah. Even in the cold weather. Even in the cold weather. I did have an operator, which helped. Yeah. Just to have that little stepper removed so yeah, that yeah, 
I could concentrate on performances. Well, um, you're extraordinarily talented, and, and thank you for, for sharing your film, Lost Face, with us. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing uh, many more. Um, is there one piece of advice you'd have to anyone out there that would like, like to follow in your footsteps? Um, I would say be prepared, as prepared as you can be, because when it all hits the fan, and it always does, <laughs> um, you'll be leaning on your prep. Yeah. yeah. Well, certainly by watching Lost Face, you can sense that you were very prepared, uh, Sean, because there was no time to not be prepared for a, <laughs> for a film like that. Um, listen, thank you so much, and congratulations on your film. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.